up everybody so today I'm going to be reviewing the supreme nudes palette from artist couture so this palette retails for $40 and there are 12 eyeshadows in here and in each pan there's 0 0.05 ounces of product or 1.4 grams and the description of this palette says to redefine the concept of nudes with this lavish new palette that's sure to reign supreme amongst the rest this is absolutely gorgeous right so this palette has eight buttery mattes, one richly pigmented metallic, and three multi-dimensional high pearl finishes in an array of neutral, cool, and warm tones. And next we have this silk cream lipstick, and I got one of these. These retail for $18 each. So the name of the lipstick that I purchased is Power Play, and this one is described as a warm medium brown. The description of these lipsticks say that they are a luxurious, weightless, creamy lipstick in an array of nude tones that provide silky, color color rich payoff with just one swipe. Let's go ahead and get into these looks. I'm going to give you all two looks using this palette and I hope that you all enjoy and stay tuned until the end and I will tell you all my final thoughts about this palette and this lipstick formula. So sit tight. The first thing I want to do is put on this lipstick because I feel like my lips just need some color. I picked up one and I got the lipstick in the color Power Play because it looks like it was the one that was most up my neutral loving alley. So I'm going to go ahead and put it on. slip I like it and I like this color I feel like it gave me a little bit of color it's a little bit darker than me I really like this color I would say if you are deeper than me so like MAC NC 50 I would get a lighter color or a darker color than this one because I feel like this one will blend in and give you concealer lips but I like the formula it feels good it smells good it went on easily it gave me nice pigmentation I like it okay artist couture we are off to a good start so now let's dip into this eyeshadow palette because I am ready to put something on my naked lids. So I already have a little bit of concealer on. I put on a little bit of the Urban Decay concealer. And so let's dip into this baby. I have already done swatches. I've kind of played with it a little bit. So I know a little bit what I think. But let's go through the look. The first color that I'm picking up is Nudist and a J5523 brush from Hakuhoto, which is a blending brush. Let me blend out this concealer one more good time because the way these creases in my eyes are set up, it's not going to let me be great. <laughs> but I already put the color on my brush and I'm going to take this in my crease and blend it up. And this is going to be my transition color. Okay, very pretty. This is giving very nice pigmentation. It's blending out really easily. It's giving me some oomph and some structure. Because I blanked out my eyelids, so now I want to add back in that crease and that natural shadow, but I want to do it with the actual shadow color. So that's good. That's what I'm looking for. That looks really pretty. Now I'm going to deepen it up even more. So I am going to dip into the color Transcend. And right underneath Nudist, I'm going to pop this color right on the edge of it and begin to build a gradient on the lid of beautiful neutral matte colors. So back and forth. I am going to build this color up and give myself a little bit of cocoa depth. I like that. It builds up really easily. I didn't have to go in too many times to get the effect that I want. It just did it. So, all right. Because I'm being extra, I'm going to take the color aesthetic and build even further. Right in the crease, I'm just going to hover this color here. I'm not going to take this color up at all because I want to build a gradient. And so if I take it up, it's just going to cover up the other colors. But if I apply it each time a little bit lower, it gives us that nice blend and it gives us like a sunset of neutral browns. So I'm here for it. And this is very pigmented and it is applying easily and I don't have any fallout so I'm liking it now I'm gonna take the same brush and the color mink 
And instead of applying this in the crease, I'm now going to take this color on the outer portion of the lid. And this is going to give me the sultriness that I'm looking for. So I'm just dipping the brush in there lightly to build this color. And on the tip of the brush, I am just packing this color on. And then I'm gradually going to blend it up into the outer crease. But I'm not going to take this all the way over because I don't want to smoke out the eye fully. I just want to add a little bit of definition. So next I'm going to take a shader brush. This is the Sonya G Builder Pro and the color Opulence. I am going to carefully apply this color on the lid and blend it out. I'm going to take this color up towards the crease and slightly feather it in the crease just a little bit and then pat it right on the edge of where that outer corner color is just so everything is blended and then I'm going to go back in with just a little bit more to make sure that it's completely opaque but that's what we're going for. And then I'm going to go back with just a little bit of mink because it did get covered up just a little bit with all of that blending but I just want to make it a little bit more pronounced but this is what we're going for. So now I'm going to take a pencil brush. This is an LCM brush in the Style Cleo and I'm picking up the color Lavish and I want that color right on the inner corner. So I'm going to pop that on and then blend it over like so. In the center of the lower lash line, I'm going to take a little bit of the color Bronziana and put that in the center. Just pop that on and blend it over. And on the rest, same brush, and I'm going to take the color Mink and connect it to the top. Uh-huh, just like so. Okay, I'm loving it so far. I'm going to go ahead and add liner and lashes, and I will be right back. Okay, darling, so here is the finished look using both of the products that I picked up from Artist Couture, and I love the way that my look turned out. I feel like it is very beautiful. It's a nice everyday type look, but it also gives you a little bit of sultriness and a little bit of drama at the same time. Neutral does not equal natural just because it's neutral eyeshadows or neutral makeup does not mean it's natural. You can bring the drama with some neutrals. I wish more people knew that, but a lot of times people use those words interchangeably and they are not the same. It's not that they're opposites, it's just they don't mean the same thing. So I feel so glam with this. I think that it is so pretty. I love this lipstick formula. I feel like it is really great. I love the colors that he had. I wish I had picked up more, but I just picked up one to test it out because I'm very particular about the type of lipstick formulas that I like. But I like this one because it gave a nice amount of slip. It has a beautiful sheen. It's not a glossy lipstick. It's not a matte lipstick. It's not even a satin lipstick it's like a in between a satin and matte so it's almost to a matte but not really and it's almost to a satin but not really it's right there and it has a really nice beautiful luster to it without it moving around everywhere so it's really nice it is not a very heavily formulated lipstick you know how sometimes you just go with one little swipe and you get the most pigmentation ever I wouldn't say that about these lipsticks I did build it up just a little bit but it's a nice everyday wearable lipstick and I love the colors and I feel like everybody can find a neutral in that collection that fits their skin tone and I really like this one so the eyeshadow palette is solid I think that this eyeshadow palette performs it gives you what you need it gives you a variety of colors to do several different neutral eyeshadow looks and that's really all you can ask for from a palette it's just to give you something to be able to create several looks there's everything that I need in this palette to do that I have my matte eyeshadows I have the lighter mattes if you need to set your eyeshadow primer, you have several different options for transition colors. You have several different options to deepen it up. You have a little bit of color in here with this color right here. It is a little bit more olive. So if you just need a pop of color and not so much neutral, you can go there. The varying tones of neutrals make this palette very diverse. So I really like the color story of it and it makes sense. It has everything you need to do a beautiful neutral eye look. It has your mattes. It has your shimmers 
colors and it has varying tones of those. So that's why I feel like this palette will work for a variety of complexions, ranging from if you have a very light complexion to if you have a very deep complexion, you have everything in here to make a look work and to do a variety of neutral eyeshadow looks. So I'm here for that. The formulation of this palette is really nice as well. The formulation reminds me a little bit of old school eyeshadows, but in an updated way. And I'm not saying that in a bad way, but I feel like a lot of times now, a lot of brands are making eyeshadows formulated in a way that is for Instagram. So they're making it to be more aesthetically pleasing to swatch than it is to use. These eyeshadows are user friendly. They are meant to be used on the eyelid. Swatching them, they're going to feel a little bit dry. They're not the creamiest eyeshadows to feel, but when you blend them out, they perform so they do feel just a little bit powdery but they feel powdery in the way that traditional eyeshadows used to feel so it's a 2020 version of traditional eyeshadows and I do like that because not every single eyeshadow formula is going to be the most creamy blendable like oh my gosh this is powder eyeshadow formula sometimes you're going to have a traditional powder and I'm okay with that as long as it works and these do so I would say just have an eyeshadow base to use with these and these adhere beautifully they pick up nicely with my brushes that I used. I didn't feel like I had to tap in here several times to get color payoff. I just got it and these blended out beautifully and they work very well with one another. But I really like this formulation. I feel like it works very well and every single eyeshadow that I used in this palette performed. So I'm here for it. I really like it. I feel like this is a great everyday palette. I definitely am going to continue to use this. I can see myself reaching for this all the time because these are the tones of neutrals that I prefer. I feel like they look really good on my complexion. And if you have a golden complexion, these are the eyeshadow tones that you should reach for as well. Super solid palette. Good job. I feel like Artist Couture doesn't get a lot of credit, but every single thing that I've ever tried from the brand is good. I've never had a dud from Artist Couture. So, so here's the second eye look that I created with the palette. And I wanted to go for something a little bit more retro and a little bit more glam because I feel like this palette could take it there. So let's get into it. So I'm going to take a fluffy brush first and this one is a BLM 44 brush and I'm going to dip into the color nudist and take this in my crease. So I am going to take this color back and forth above my crease and I'm going to take my time and build up this color because I want it to be pretty prominent and I'm going to make this look almost like a dramatic natural look if there is and if there ever has been such a thing I'm about to do it so when I do my crease I am starting on the outer point and then I'm kind of going up towards the tip of my brow and I know some people don't do that because they don't have a lot of eye space you can always just go back and forth if going all the way up to the edge of your brow is going to overwhelm your eye space so I like to do this because it gives me a very beautiful blend. So I'm just going to go back and forth. And then I definitely am going to diffuse some of this color right here in that little pocket. Because I want that to be defined too with the neutrals. So I'm just building this color up and this is what I want it to look like. Very beautiful blend and I like the way that this looks so far. So I'm going to dip lightly into the color Transcend with a Royal and Lang Nickel BLM 45 brush and lightly and I do mean lightly take this color in the crease and I am going to concentrate it right here on the very outer corner and then I'm going to blend it in just a little bit but I'm not going to build this color up too much because I do want to keep this look a little bit more like a natural look. So now I'm going to take a flat shader brush and this one is a BOM42 brush and I'm going to pick up the color stripped. And very carefully, I'm going to pack the color on the brush. And I'm going to use packing motions to build up this color and bring it up to the crease. And I'm going in a C shape. And this is building beautifully. So I'm going to take a detailer brush and the color Exposed. And I am going to pop this on the inner portion of my lid and blend it over using packing motions. So I'm going to go in with the BOM 47 and pick up a bit of the color Transcend because I do want to re-intensify the outer V and this is going to allow me to do that without going back over everything. So I'm literally 
drawing a V on my outer corner and blending this color over just to give a little bit more structure. Now I'm gonna go back in with the BOM50 brush to do more detail work. And I'm gonna pick up the color Aesthetic and I am going to smudge that on the lower lash line. So just all the way across. And on the very inner part, I'm gonna go back in with Exposed. So very carefully, I'm just going to apply that there. And this is the completed second eye look and I absolutely love the way that it turned out. I very rarely do all matte eye looks, but when I do, I always like them. So I have to remind myself to do them more often, especially neutral ones because they just look so retro and I love it. Mm -hmm. 